Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Darkwood. In the last video, we went up to the village and finally found the horrific nightmarish tree made of people and and wood and oh my goodness it, it reminds me of eternal darkness something straight out of a cthulhu a uh, book w really well done while we were there we saw that one of the people so grafted into the tree had been trying to communicate with us although we couldn't quite hear him at all thanks to the murmurings and other conversations that the tree is having with itself even that it's made up of thousands of people it would seem all pulsating breathing and what have you god so it's so nightmarish and it mentioned something about a radio so we're going to try to find that radio tower out here and explore it if we can but i think that's probably several several days away like five six eight or so we're going to be spending quite a few more evenings in the swamp. We then explored a little bit more of the forest and we found two more, I think two more logging camps and we brought some of those supplies back. We've been defeating the enemies that have been showing up trying to get rid of us out of our hideout. And I did a little bit of stuff off screen. I have built this wardrobe and stuck some of our healing supplies in it. Uh, sorry, medicinal supplies within it. And I think I did a little bit of more wood sawing and used up all the gasoline to make a few more boards. And that's our current situation, everyone. So I think we're heading out today and I wanted to go out this way today and explore everything out towards the right. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Also, good on me for remembering to use my scream last night when I was being attacked by two human spiders we would have easily died as they were both right on top of me at that point so yeah I'm gonna pat myself on the back oh right and also yesterday we upgraded our workshop once we're looking for a branch so we can make an axe that's the that's a, something we'll want it does more damage than our shovel does and at this point I think we we kind of need it all right, well, let's uh, let's get going. If we can find another plier somewhere out here, we'll hopefully be able to make uh, make. We'll be able to upgrade our workshop again. I have a stamina pill. I think these last a little longer than the wood. Uh, sorry, the meat lasts when we eat it. I'm gonna go south a little. Actually, we'll go we'll go up from here. And yep, we have the bugs. I'm not going to kill any of the bugs while we're here. I don't really need the chitin at the moment. All the mushrooms would be nervous that there's going to be a mushroom man somewhere out here as well. We didn't see any. Heard something. There's a wolf over there somewhere. We cannot look directly at that light. Uh, what's within its its effect? It will burn our eyes out. But I am going to want to kill that dog I heard. We want to explore this area. So let's see if we can find that dog. There it is. And there's a chomper. Come on. 
That chopper sounds really close. I'm going to use that third eye. I, I need to know. I think it's... There it is. I see it. Crap. Yeah, we, we need to deal with the spider first. Looks like it's kind of stuck. Quite an array of enemies so far out here. And we're filled up on inventory, so let's double back. Unless, is it mostly meat? Actually, we can reload... ...our pistol. Is it full of meat? Is that what I said? <laughs> is my inventory filled with meat, is what I meant to say. Alright, let's bring some of this back. Oh, trap. We'll just have to leave it out here. We don't have inventory space to pick it up. Another trap. So two of them right next to each other. Of all the survival games I've played, like Don't Starve, this, uh, Flame in the Flood, I really like this one the most. It... How can I, how can I describe this? The, the amount of work you have to do to try to preserve resources is really good. I, I like it. There doesn't seem to be a very easy way to get through get through the days, especially because you want to explore what's around you. Nothing seems to be too... Oh, it's not... That's not fair. I think that's, I was about to say nothing seems too cheesy compared to the other games, but those games weren't cheesy uh, either, Tim. Okay, and it is mostly meat we have in our inventory. So, th the meat will eventually rot. We'll leave two of it here. Oh, I'll probably have to sell some alcohol at this rate. I don't need the matches. The these matches can be sold. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and leave these here. Alcohol and that. Back out there we go. We want to investigate that area. And we, we can do so somewhat safely. I love the fog out here as well. You know what it, it, it might think it is as well? All the cre all the creatures out here, they, they're they all very dangerous. Like, a, a big dog can kill you. In fact, we, as you saw, uh, yeah, I think in one of the parts yesterday, like, it came very close to killing us. Hit us three times. Took away our armor and everything. You need to pay attention. I suppose that's the case as well for a game like uh, like Don't Starve. Well, I, I don't know. Like um, you can handle most of the single enemies in that game rather well. The exception being the large bosses, which are designed to give you tons of trouble. But over here, even even the little things can give you lots of trouble if you're not paying attention. Okay, so... Oh, yep. you, you see what happened? So, if you look in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, watch what happens very quickly. You see that show up? That's telling you that your eyes are burning. And that's what's causing you to take all that damage.
Oh, I forgot to look up what the leveling up choices were. So I'm probably going to do that uh, tomorrow. I'm sorry, uh, tomorrow. Uh, when we wake up, I'm going to probably cut the recording briefly so that I can actually take a look and see what the level up choices were. Okay, so the only thing in here was some gasoline and a few mushrooms. Hello, cart. I can't search you. Oh, hello. We have another ruin here. Nothing in it. Alright, well, that happens sometimes. It happened to me plenty of times when I was out adventuring when I was young in the woods. This poor bastard probably died of starvation. Tried to eat some metal. Oh, hello. Another ruin. Oh, Jesus! Part of my language again. Sorry. Sorry. I... Uh, I stopped that. Uh, terrified. Absolutely terrified of, of being hit by a centipede. A, centip a centipede man. Our scream didn't look like it worked on him either. So now that that's used up. We'll take the gas tanks. We can vendor these. And how do I get in there? The door seems to be blocked from the other side. I don't think I can get in there unless I destroy the door. Let's try it. No, we can't. Oh, but maybe... Maybe we can do this. I can't tell if I'm damaging it. I don't think I am. We might have to bring a Molotov cocktail with us. I'm wasting bullets. Alright, let's go back home then and try to come back here with a Molotov. Careful of all those traps, Tim. Remember, there's two out here somewhere. We search. I think we searched that person. We did. So what's interesting is that we didn't take too much damage from that centipede hit. We lost a little bit of life, and our armor remained mostly the same. Maybe the scream didn't scare it away, but it put a debuff effect on it for a little bit instead. Okay, I don't need you. I don't need you. Okay, it's four o'clock. And I, I, I want the Molotov, Tim. That's the whole reason you're, you're going here.
I'm going to risk it. I don't know if we'll actually if we actually do have time for this, but we're going to try. Definitely taking those. I do not want to accidentally step on those traps. Pretty exciting day. It wasn't it. We, we've killed a centipede, a, a human centipede, a human spider, a big dog, and a chomper all out here in the woods. Now this is going to be quite a waste of supplies if this doesn't do it. We're going to give it a try. I can't think of any other way to... to oh! We, maybe we can use... Maybe we could have used the explosive barrels. Nice! Okay, and our weaponry have been working on it. It's 5 o'clock. By the time that fire expires, it'll be very close to 6. We'll, we'll have to come back here tomorrow. Oh, we're near, we're near a, a helicopter, apparently. Yeah, we'll, we'll come back here tomorrow. Is there any more wood here? Uh oh. There's a swamper there. I don't have to kill it, so we won't do so. Hello, beetles. Have a good day. We don't need to kill you. You keep trying to attack me in my hideout. I just realized my microphone's not that close to me. Okay, so today was a okay day. We got some more supplies back to our hideout. We used quite a bit of a few rounds of our shotgun and pistol. We defeated two uh two. We defeated a varied enemies, but we are slowly running out of supplies. Very slowly, I am consuming all of my, like, shotgun shells and extra clips for our pistol. I want these to expire. Which I guess we can eat. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll, maybe we'll just eat these in the end. We'll see. We have enough metal, actually. We can make another trap. We can see about maybe placing that somewhere. Oh, yeah. You're running very low on ammunition, Tim. Oh, not very low, but we are beginning to run out. Let's turn on the power. spend an evening at one point just hiding from enemies at this rate. Okay. We don't need the flashlight at night. And we'll start using a flare or two as well instead of using the lantern. Okay. All right. I have another evening. What are you going to be doing, Tim? I don't like chairs. They get in the way. I should just destroy them. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow and then repair our shovel. Alright, 
30 minutes until the evening starts. Yeah, I'm going to let both of those expire so we get some rotten uh, guck that we'll be able to make into gas bottles. to fight a spider with a shovel. I might have to do that. You might have to eventually make a choice of losing lives or losing supplies. But even if we, if we if we dine and eat during an evening, that's 250 rep we don't earn. Try to just avoid them. There's two of them. One's right behind me. Ghosts! Oh no, we're getting ghosts! Getting them again. Haven't had raids in a long time. Having the Banshees has been very tricky. I'm very glad to have so many flares. There's three Banshees! Wow.
Day 31. Alright, the game tried to get spawn a dog to destroy that barricade right at the very end, but it did not work. Okay. Oh, that was exciting. Quite a different evening the, the quite a different evening than what we've been dealing with so far. Most of that we didn't use any of our our ammunition. That was very good. I like it. Good morning, the three. Alright, so let's go ahead and put some of our supplies back. Hmm. If you make these gas bottles, then you're not going to have any empty bottles. But we'll do it anyway. We're gonna vendor that. We have some meat to help us out today. Our pistol has most of its use, uh, is that about half its clip size, magazine size left. Okay, so let's, I guess I don't really need to repair the shovel, but I'm gonna repair it anyway. There might be a few more places we can dig out there and that always takes 50% of our shovel's durability. So we'll, we'll repair it. We're gonna vendor this, We're taking you with us today. As usual. I won't need the pistol clip, so I'm gonna buy a new pistol clip. I always kind of ration my ammunition for my weapons because I want to prevent myself from actually using all of it. I'll have to, like I might decide it's better to run away than use all seven shotgun shells and I might want these for the evening. That's why you see me not taking like the full amount of, of shells with me that I have stored. It also gives me some room to pick up shotgun shells if we find quite a few of them out there. I don't know if we will, but I'm trying to explain why you see me again not taking every single shotgun shell with me. Okay, so gonna be vendoring some stuff today. We have a gas tank to sell you. All of this stuff. Hello the three, good morning. So, we want at least those. Sell the gas bottles, the meat, the matches, the explosive barrels. Because it's 47 rep, actually. That's pretty good. We want the rags from them. We'll take more wires. Actually, I don't think we need those wires. You need another long barrel for all the weaponry you're going to be making. Let's take it. We'll sell one alcohol. Alcohol is kind of really rare. I shouldn't be selling any of it, but... Uh, we'll sell it anyway. Alright, so... Okay, very good. Six. We have 1,620 reputation with the three left. That's fantastic. Let me just run around and make absolutely sure that they didn't destroy anything else. I'm pretty sure... Uh, they, they being the enemies we encountered last night. Yep, no doors destroyed. Only one trap and we've already reset it. So I think you're good, Tim. You know, you could... Oh, we need gasoline. We need gasoline. Okay. Like, I don't have any gasoline? We have gasoline. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and refill our generator fill up our wood saw, and then I'm going to cut the recording briefly, so I can go ahead and take a peek and see what my, what the upgrades are for the final, um, for, for tier 4. Because I may not, I may decide it's not worth leveling, depending upon what those negative traits are. Okay, Tim. You want to put this trap down? 
Yeah, you know what? Let's do this really quick as well. So the enemies like being outside every single window. So why not put another trap here? We have plenty of metal. And we're relying more on my ranged weaponry here than my use of shovels to keep ourselves... alive. Uh, what I'm hinting at there is that um, I can be a little freer with with the metal scraps I have because I'm not repairing the shovel every evening any longer. Alright, and one second everyone, I'm just saving the game. There we go. I'm going to cut the recording really quick. I will be back. I just want to take a peek at those upgrades again. Okay, everyone, I just, oh, no, I hit, I hit a button I shouldn't have hit. I think I'm still recording. Okay, I have to cut the recording again. Okay, no, I am still recording. But I'm just, okay, we're good. All right, so, we have to pick a choice between shaky hands, which decreases my accuracy with ranged weapons, or decreased healing, which means all healing items are less effective. They take longer to heal, and they heal less. I don't like any of the last tier positives. You can get an additional one-fourth max life. We can become invisible to all enemies for 30 seconds if we don't move, which means, which still means I can use my weapons and shoot. And there's another upgrade that I cannot recall. But I'm, I'm not going to level again, I think. We're going to stay at this current level instead. I'm making an executive decision, but I think our lives depend upon it. Alright, so today we're heading back up here to the ruin, and maybe we'll find the wreckage. And then we'll head back down this area to explore all of this chunk of the swamp. And I think I've got everything with me I want to bring. Alright, let's get going. Have ourselves a pill, and out we go. I need to. I kind of want to go up to that ruin first. Hope you guys have been enjoying the Let's Play. It's been a lot of fun to play through the game again. I forgot how good it is. I I believe I mentioned earlier that I had tried recording the game a long time ago, actually. Back in April. April, actually might, might have been February I began recording the game in, of 2020. But I changed my mind because I wasn't taking any of the level ups. And I thought, you know... The level ups explain at least some of what's going on. I should take at least like the first two levels of it. Oh. Okay. Anything in the wardrobe? Nice. A wire, two bottles, another pistol clip. The wardrobe has some gasoline, a pill, another pill of a different type, and a flashlight. And the crate. Weapon parts, military flashlight, tubular magazine, and another flashlight. So we're going to get quite a bit of reputation. And our inventory is practically filled up, so let's, we might as well run back now. Dead end, Tim. Right, that's the treasure chest you checked by those vines. So I th think what we found in there was worth the ammunition we spent. I should have just thrown a Molotov, though. 
the fire would have burned, I think, the cabinet to to its complete destruction. So we, we waste a few shotgun shells yesterday. And arguably, probably then a few pistol shot uh, shots as well. Did I... I forgot to buy rags, didn't I? From the three. No, I did not. Okay. Alright, so weapon parts, you stay here. We have another tubular magazine. They don't stack. Gasoline can stay. The wire can stay. Put the pistol clip away. And we have a ton of flashlights to sell tomorrow. We have some more empty bottles. Okay, well done. Let's get back out there again. Uh, yeah, we'll have some meat. I'm always, sorry everyone, I'm not doing as much talking. I'm always trying to listen for for things like that. To, let, to remind me that there might be vines or an enemy around or something of the sort. Okay, now we're near the wreckage. Let's, oh, there's two dead people here on the ground. I can't search them. I don't see a way into the wreckage area here. Another dead person. Probably starved to death. We'll take the metal bit he has. Right. We heard something in the water before. I don't think I care about that mushroom. Looks like a body, but it's not. A single nail on that body. Underwater corridor. I don't think we can enter that yet. We need a way to be able to breathe underwater. And I don't think we have that yet. I won't be able to swim through this passage without an oxygen tank. Yep. I don't think there's anything else here. I remember finding this at the very end of the last playlist. And if I recall correctly... Because I, I want you guys to know what, what, what I know in this instance. I think there is another assault rifle over there. More traps. Two more traps. Oh, hello. A shiny stone here as well. Uh, that trap's going to be a pain to try to get to, and I don't need the metal. It can stay there. Odds are I'm not stepping on it. I have not forgotten about the ruin on the other side of this area, on the west side that we found in the last video. But we'll, we'll, ha we'll go exploring there, I think, in the next episode. Oh, not a lot down here, actually. Some more bodies in the ground. We can't search them. Oh, let's search it. My flashlight went out, though. When the flashlight goes out, if you reload, it does not put the flat turn the flashlight back on. I don't see 
see anything in that. But we have we, we should go. I saw the chomper. I wanted my lantern on me. He's kind of stuck. Maybe we can kill him with our pistol. Interesting that they are also slowed by the water. In fact, they don't even charge. Fighting them in the, the water may be the best thing to do against chompers. If I have the choice. Swamp cottage found. Oh, the road led here. that. Something in the water. What is this? A tractor. Giant hole in the world here, too. can't search this. I don't think there's anything else up there either. Let's see if we can circumvent around the swamp cottage. It might be easier to get to it from the other side than have to worry about fighting a swamper. Or if I can kill the swamper from outside of the swamp. This Tim Great Lake. Oh, okay. So here's the radio tower, which is where we're lo which is where we are. That's fantastic to know. We're not ready for the Great Lake. I don't want to come in here until I have a, a better shotgun. This place is extremely dangerous. So we're we're not going there. And the radio tower will have to pass on that as well at the moment. It's three o'clock, so I can't be out here too much longer. I guess we will risk dying here, Tim. Yeah, we'll risk it. Let's go in. There are some blurred traces inside the barrel. Looks like recently dried blood. A trail of flowers lead to this structure. Pr 
red rope and gasoline. Oh, hold on. I had my inventory all messed up. That would have been dangerous. The floor is covered with flowers of various colors. Some are fresh. The rest must have been lying here for some time. I don't have the code for that door. Ooh, a large cocoon or something here. around the back of it. And it's 5 o'clock just about, so we need to go back home. A tractor with more gasoline and some metal bits. I hear it. There's something over here. Chomper. Or a swamper. That's the quickest way to get home, though, so we have to go through that. Okay, that's not too far from our house, actually, this spot, though I would have preferred to take the road. So I think we did explore everything on the west, east, um, east side of the hideout. Oh, I, I'm getting my directions. I'm being very confusing. I keep saying east, but I think I mean west when it comes to, to relation to, to where I wanted to explore yes, tomorrow. I think, I think I'm saying all the wrong words because I, I constantly do that. Okay, do I have anything I want to sell tomorrow? Anything else? The rope can be sold. We can't use that. I've got another shiny stone. We'll leave that here. Six o'clock. Leave more of those stones there. Leave the pile of wood. Turn on the generator. We're getting so much metal, everyone, that I think we're going to make another trap or two. Yeah, we have we have too much metal. Tons of gasoline now as well. Very good. Okay, let's set these traps. Um, set one here. Actually, that, they don't tend to attack that that door. We'll, we'll hold on to the traps. We might get a chance to deploy them if the enemy sets off other traps. That might be a good spot to put a trap as well, but I'm worried that... Well... Do we have time? Yeah, we have time. Uh, that barricade's fine, but I think they have attacked it at least once. Okay, we don't need the flashlight with us. I can stay here. I should, I should have purchased more flares. I didn't purchase, any, I didn't purchase a flare yesterday from the three.
Okay, we're, I think it's about as raised as we're gonna be. Let's try surviving another evening. How about your ammunition, Tim? At night, I think I will take all my ammo with, with me. Didn't find a branch, didn't find another plier. I might watch my old Let's Play to see where, the, where another pair of pliers are. I think by this time I had a rifle. I don't think there are two of them at the uh, at the tree. I also don't feel bad about going and looking to see where the pliers are. <laughs> I really want a rifle at this point. I, I need a weapon that uses a different type of, a different type of ammunition. And it is now the evening, everyone. I saw the flashlight with me. We were lucky. We are not lucky. We were smart to put that trap there. Looking for my pistol. <laughs> it wasn't with me. That needs to put you here. that lantern last a little longer, I should try. Well, I am nervous about centipedes showing up. We haven't seen anything appear on, on, in the ground like a hole. We haven't had a centipede man, a human centipede attack us in a while at our strong... We're, get, we're getting a poltergeist. Poltergeist tends to like to show up where I'm located, so I'm going to move away from everything. So he doesn't do too much moving around of all... of all my stuff. I meant to destroy those chairs. Other side of that door, another centipede. They can be killed with a shovel rather easily. Two hits only.
They really don't like that window. We need to trap out outside this window. I think right before dawn, we usually get one more thing. Alright, not the worst evening. Day 32. 250 wrap. Okay! Alright, everyone, as usual. Oh, that's annoying. As usual, we won't be doing any more exploring. We're all done. It's been two, two evenings. I forgot. It's so enjoyable, this game, to de defend your home and what have you. I really I really like it. It's a good. It's a, it always feels like a great challenge to successfully not die during an evening here. Good morning, the three. Okay, so... Oh, I took an extra lantern, apparently, out and used it at some point. Okay, so we don't need that lantern. We have plenty of boards, plenty of nails, so we won't need to do... Uh, we won't need to purchase any new ones. We're going to set that trap outside the other window. I can do that. Actually, I'll do that uh, tomorrow. I'm a little worried. I'll, I'll set off the... We're too far away from our, our camp. The meats we hold on to. We'll, I think we'll use all, all of this tomorrow. Okay, so what are we selling? And also, we need to turn off the generator. A shiny stone. This stuff absolutely gets sold. We don't need any of this. Hello, the three. Good morning. Have a bunch of flashlights. And we'll take, as usual, all the ammunition that you have and your rags. Rags are away. We almost have 20 rifle rounds. It would be really useful to be able to make a rifle. Okay, is that really it? Uh, let's go ahead and make another set of armor. I like having two armors pre-made. Wow, we didn't, we didn't lose our armor at all in the past two nights, I think. That's pretty good for me. Normally, normally that's not the case. Okay, we'll sell this one mushroom to the three. Let's get a little more reputation. I guess we'll take some more wires as well. Generator first. I think the wood saw is completely filled as well. Yeah, this is this is going pretty well out here. We've had a few rough evenings. I I did almost die last night. Sorry, not last night, the night before, right? To those two human centipedes. But we didn't. And that's the most important thing. Okay, everyone, so I guess let's let's try this here. I think Tim you can place it without setting off the Yep, good, okay. We're gonna place you here. Two the spiders really hate this window. So we'll trap that as well. And good morning, Isaiah. Good to see you. Alright, so that's it everyone. We're all done. We survived another two evenings. We explored a little more of the east hand side of the swamp. We found the swamp cottage, but did not, well, actually, did not actually see it. The swamp cottage is out there. We visited the old shed, but we're lacking a code, so we weren't able to enter it. I think tomorrow we'll begin by going out this way and explore that ruin and anything left, left in this log, uh, sorry, this logging camp, bringing any supplies back home, and then we'll head out, follow the road, and we'll try to make our way to that swamp cottage in the next episode. We also found the radio tower and we found the Great Lake, but I am too nervous about going to Great Lake until we have a better weapon. And or oh, and more and or more flares. Which reminds me, we want another flare. And the two centipedes, I think it was in the last episode, Tim, right? You survived against three banshees and two wraith encounters.
last time. Okay, so that does it for us, everyone. Oh, I should be saving my mushrooms to make more antidotes. That would be more useful, I think, than when I'm, I'm then selling them. Too late. Okay. Okay, alright everyone, thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care everyone.